Hello and welcome to episode 2 of our track podcast. Today we have a variety of content just for you, from Ken's to composition. And talking to you throughout will be myself, Penny and James. If you want to take part in track, either becoming a member or being interviewed, then email Miss Donahue at katherine.donahue at tsaschool.co.uk. But for now, get ready to listen to this episode. First off, I'm in the mood for a piano piece. How about you, James? I agree. So what better way to start off this podcast with the composition created by Ellie? I don't know how people do it. As much as I try, songwriting is not my forte. It does take a lot of time to do and Ellie has definitely nailed it. Yeah, I love that piece. I'm not sure about you, James, but I could listen to that on repeat for hours. I could as well. We have a broadcast to present. Listeners, if you will have a musical talent that you'd like to share or a musical friend who wouldn't mind being interviewed, then make sure you email Miss Donahue at katherine.donahue at tcellschool.co.uk to take part. Next up, we dive into a world of no common sense as Adam talks about Ken who's been taking the law just a little bit too far. Today we have this term's issue of the Kens of the world. I hope you enjoy because this is surely is a strange one. Imagine a small child. Barely in nursery, he struggles to speak whilst happily playing in his baby mobile. Then he encounters a wild Ken. Large, grey, porky... He strides across the pavement, arms folded and locks eyes with this toddler. He then screams, low and booming, Where is your license? The child cries, the Ken screams, the mother runs. It was chaotic in this peaceful Pennsylvania playground. This is continuous Ken content. (laughs) Okay, now that was funny. I feel so bad for the little child. Why would he be carrying a license? He wouldn't, so like, what was going through that Ken's head? I have no idea. Ah, oh, jeez. Have you ever met a person who's asked a ridiculous question? Have you ever heard a story about a funny encounter? Then get to touch with us because we would love to hear about your bizarre tales. Contact Miss Donahue at katherine.donahue at tsdaleschool.co.uk to get involved. I just hope for the sake of all the children in the world that this hasn't happened to them too. On to a more serious note, there are so many animals, too many animals actually, that are becoming dangerously close to extinction. We need to be more aware of this and Penny has included a section just for that, looking at three of the most endangered animals. Welcome back to my Tops of the Time where I look at some of the tops in our world. This time I look at the top three of some of the most endangered animals. First off, the giant panda. These BFGs first became endangered in the 1980s due to excessive poaching. After that, their numbers rose only to drop again a few years later, this time because of deforestation. This meant that there was a huge lack of plants to eat, including their prime source of food, bamboo. Since then, China has made an attempt to raise the population of the giant panda by replanting forests and making wildlife reserves. These animals are not the only ones suffering because of deforestation, unfortunately. The orangutan is also becoming extinct as a result of cutting down forests. They are also dying from logging, wildfires, agriculture, poaching, people ignoring laws and illegal pets. For instance, in 1997 and 1998, wildfires caused by climate change killed an estimated one third of the orangutans in Borneo. These are all caused by our behaviour and attitude towards wildlife. The third and final animal, the tiger, is slowly becoming extinct due to some of the same reasons. Habitat loss, climate change and illegal poaching. Habitat loss is one of the biggest factors since it affects quite a lot of the tiger's lifestyle. For example, it limits the area of hunting ground for this predator. Not only that, their prey is also dying because of habitat loss. All of these issues interweave and most come down to the way humanity is acting. It makes me sad to think that animals living alongside us are suffering from our actions. Yeah, it is. But there are ways to change that. For more information, there are many websites online, such as rspca.org.uk, that support and help our wildlife. 
and if you want to help spread awareness, why not get a section and track all to yourself to talk about these issues and how to help. You can do this by emailing missdonahue at kathleen.donahue at tsdellschools.co.uk. Next up, are you a sports fan? Here's James chatting to you about that very subject. Hello and welcome to my section of the podcast where I'm going to be talking about sports, in particular football, rugby and cricket. So we all know that the last Football World Cup was won by France in 2018. The game ended 4-2 against Croatia, but I'm going to be talking about the 2022 World Cup held in Qatar. This is going to be an interesting one because it will be the first World Cup that's going to be held in Northern Africa. This is going to start on the 21st of November in 2022. The next sport is rugby. This Rugby World Cup was won by South Africa against England in Japan. So the next one is going to be in 2023. It's going to take place in France from the 8th of September to the 28th of October in 2023. Um, this is, the opening match will be, uh, and the final will take place at the Stade de France. The Men's Cricket World Cup will be held in 2023 in India during October and November in 2023. This will be the first time the competi- competition is held completely in India which is actually pretty interesting. Um, so this is going to be a uh, really cool tournament because England won the last one in 2019. So it's going to be an interesting um, interesting way. So we don't know who's going to win this one. Also, there's going to be a FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand in 2023. The USA won the last FIFA Women's World Cup back in 2019. I'm not into a lot of sports, but it is interesting to hear about the different sports and their results. Personally, I love hearing about different sport results, so I find it interesting to talk about them. I hope you listeners did too. If you want to talk about a sport that appeals to you, then get in touch with, you guessed it, Miss Donahue at Catherine Donahue at teasdellschool.co.uk to tell us. It would be nice to hear about your hobbies. Last but not least, here's a cheerful note to end this podcast as Penny looks at idioms people use that may be a bit confusing. Have you ever read or heard a weird or funny idiom and wondered what it meant? Well, here are four idioms along with their meanings and origins. Number one, cool as a cucumber. This expression was first recorded in 1732 by John Gay in one of his poems called New Song on New Similes. The meaning behind this cool idiom is that you are calm, relaxed, and unruffled by an event or challenge. 2. Bob's your uncle. This catchphrase dates back to 1887, when the English Prime Minister of the time appointed a Secretarian Island out of favouritism. It was used as a sarcastic comment until it was eventually spoken in a way of saying, no problem. Nowadays it can be translated into many meanings, but the most accurate are, you're all set and you've got it made. 3. Put a sock in it. This idiom originated from the early 20th century, and it's used when someone is being noisy to annoy others. Those of you with siblings will know exactly what I'm talking about. This phrase is another way of saying, be quiet. 4. Happy as Larry. This expression is perhaps the most confusing of the ones I've explained. Who even is Larry? Well, it turns out that he was actually a person. He was called Larry Foley, and he was a boxer in the 1890s. Larry won all of his matches and retired at the end of his career, happy with his successes. This canny idiom means to be happy because of luck. Well, he knew that Larry was actually real, and some of those curious idioms really do make sense now they've been explained. History can be very useful. Speaking of which, do you have something historical you want to talk about? Get in touch with us to tell us all about it. As much as I'd like to talk to you all, this podcast sadly has to end. Aww. Thank you all so much for tuning in and listening to what we have to say. And remember, if you have anything you'd like to speak about right here on track, or even if you'd like to become a member yourself, get in touch with Miss Donahue at katherine.donahue at teasdellschool.co.uk to do so. We can't wait to hear from you. Finally, to wrap everything up, here's my outro called Electric Hits to End. Make sure you listen to our next episode and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye!